Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is my Aldi Ferex Cordless Lawnmower FS ARM4037. It's a funny one. I've been using it and none of, there's no grass in the box. And then it kind of blows grass out the bottom and it doesn't seem to cut very well. Let's have a look underneath. So what I noticed is this wear on the back of the blade. Front seems like it's, a, it's quite a new machine, really. The blade should turn this way, that way this way I can't see it very well with the handle so I would say it's spinning backwards how am I gonna fix that it has a little key and I like it because it runs off this Aldi battery 40 volt Ferrex battery, and it looks like it maybe should take another one as well. Right, mysteries of the world. It's got a load of screws all around. I bought it for, I don't know, small money, I think, at a car boot sale. I'm just wondering if it'll all pop up together. I don't, if that would come out, then I'd be able to see what's underneath it. I imagine it's a DC thing with the wires the wrong way around on the motor. Too hot for my phone. Right, I've taken out all the screws. I used a magnet to pull them up. I couldn't get them. It should come apart unless it's stuck somewhere and I haven't spotted it. A bit caught there. It kind of snaps over. See that? for screws. So what am I stuck on then? Yeah, there is one there, look. It's stuck there. Where is it? Just like that, look. The only clean and easy screw in the in the place hiding. Yeah. So, oh dear, ah really, DC to three phase motor, all potted, so one of the phases will be in wrong. So it should just be a matter of swapping any of the two wires on the, on this guy on the motor. potted here, can't change that. Alright, I don't know how you'd fix that. Chop two of the wires, put in a strip connector, because that's, that's soldered in. If it is a three phase, which I think it is, given that that's how these things all seem to be nowadays. All I wanted to do was cut the grass. Look how small the motor is. <laughs> Look. It's just a bag of ballast in the front to make it heavier, to keep the weight down. Just a bag of something, sand maybe, look at that. Right, blue and... 
screen. So this is just three phase electricity, logic, I don't even need to take those things out of there. So I've chopped green and blue. I'm going to reverse them. You could use crimps, but in case this doesn't work, this is reversible. Crimps are not on those broken. So like as it stands, the machine does not cut grass. It blows the grass around the wrong way. Now, I think my memory serves. I bought this at a car boot sale, probably for something like 20 quid. I think they're about 70 quid if you buy them. You know, this is not worth 70 quid. It's certainly not worth it if it doesn't cut grass, but even at that, the build quality is quite low, I would say. Let's give these a little snip. I have to get it all back together again. Right, it should go this way. I think we might be fixed. Let's put it back together again. It's just screws, so you can watch if you want. So all that weight in the front is just ballast. It's not, it's not actually doing anything other than sitting there. So you don't need to take off that handle or that front bumper. It's a bit doesn't like to be too over tightened that one. Just put it back like that and it'll be okay. Right, let's see if it cuts and picks up grass in the box. in the box sorry you're in the shade but it's too hot for the camera so then little ferrex mower you were probably a customer return or something or the person bought it and didn't think it was any good and i'd be inclined to agree because it wouldn't cut the grass it just bludgeon it backwards and then it wouldn't pick it up either but here we are one little strip connector and i don't know 100 screws later and we work questions or comments leave them below if you like this video think about it if you want to become a member of the channel, have a look down there in the uh, description or uh, just hit the subscribe button wherever it might be. And uh, thanks for watching. Tell me about your tales of three phase motors and whatnot in the comments below. See you later.